Chef Shea Bear here. You all know I'm not a real chef, I just like to cook. So today what we're going to be making is chicken and dumplings, uh, Emerald Lagasse style. Bam! Okay folks, first thing we did is I've got um, this is eight cups of water. I've got approximately three pounds of chicken in here. Um, you can use chicken breast. In fact, uh, Emerald's recipe calls for chicken breast. But I just got thighs here. Again, just like the uh, chicken noodle soup. You can use whatever kind of chicken you want. You can use turkey, whatever. But this is chicken and dumplings. So we're using chicken. We're chick uh, we cooked the chicken thighs in the eight cups of water. We lightly boiled them just about like this because you don't want to boil them too hard or they'll, uh, you'll lose too much, um, too much of the liquid, the broth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, um, your chicken, put it on the boil. I've already done that. We can set this off now. Um, you want to lightly boil it for about 45 minutes. And then we're going to get on to cutting up the vegetables. We're going to take these. <coughs> excuse me. We're going to take these out. And we're going to put them on a plate. We're going to let them cool down. And then we're going to shred them. We're going to take the bone out and the skins off and all that. So let's go ahead and let's cut up our. Uh, also what I put in here. Um, you can put two bay leaves in there. But I do not have the bay leaves. Um, I am going to put a, up the screen everything you'll need uh, now down in the um, in the description box I will have a full recipe okay so if you want the full recipe to do this at home uh, it'll be in the description box below uh, I got a table and a half a teaspoon table a teaspoon and a half of salt in here and I put a little bit of lemon pepper and a little bit of seasoning salt in there as well that's just my taste it doesn't call for that by any means but and again like I said I have no bay leaves so eh, you know I'll just have to do without them so let's go over here and let's cut up our uh, vegetables okay what we got here is we got three carrots and three celery sticks or stocks whatever and I'm just gonna cut these up now if you want if you want to go the easy way you can use these which I thought about using but I thought, well, let's go ahead. I've got these, so, uh, and again, just, um, just cut them up, you know, just, just like we did, you know, self-explanatory, just like we did for the uh, chicken noodle soup. So I'm going to get all these cut up, and I'll show you what we're going to do with these here in just a minute. Also, the recipe calls for some peas. And I do not have any peas, and I forgot to have Monkey get some. So, because she asked me what I needed, and I sent her a list, and I forgot to put the peas on there. So, we're going to do without the peas, which is fine. You can use fresh peas, frozen peas, canned peas. It doesn't matter. So, let me get this cut up, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so now, we've got our flour. It's just all-purpose flour. This is a um, one and a quarter cup of flour. All right, just going to dump this in here. All right. Now, we need um, two teaspoons of baking. Uh, let me check my recipe here just to make sure. Two. Okay, so I need two teaspoons of baking powder. It doesn't say heaping, it just says teaspoon. So there's one. This is the biscuits. Two, which is going to be the dumpling. Now we're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt. Again, to your flavor, don't have to be perfect. Looks about like a half a teaspoon there. All right. Um, now, this is what I did. Now the recipe calls... To, it wants you to heat up a half a cup of milk and two tablespoons of butter until the butter is melted. It says to do it in a glass measuring cup. 
I just put this in the microwave uh, for two 30 second blasts and that was fine. So what we're going to do, grab my fork, just make biscuits really. We're going to dump this in here. Now we're just going to, oops, sorry. We're going to stir this up until everything gets mixed. And the dough should be soft. Okay, it says to use a fork. I'm just about to the point to where I can get my hands in here. Okay, so. Alright. Now it says, you know, it says to combine it. It says add milk and butter mixture and stir with fork just until combined. Dough should be soft. Turn out onto a floured surface and knead, knead the dough just a few times to make it combine together. No more than eight times. Okay. So what we're going to do, I got my flour over here. Let's put a little bit of flour down here. Yes, I've already cleaned this off. So we're going to take this because you don't want to I guess it'll get real tough if you if you need this dough too much so then we're going to roll it out which I do not have my rolling pin hmm how convenient <laughs> always forgetting something right so just kind of fold it over make sure it's not sticking you just don't want to do it too many times it, these are it's just biscuits is really what they are okay that should be good now we're going to roll these out let me get my rolling pin okay I kind of got you on an angle here and you want to just want to roll this out move my knife I try to make mine square. You want to go, let's see, it's saying about, well, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Uh, it says about an eighth of an inch thick. Okay, so, just trying to make mine more square, you know, because you're kind of going to make like a, something like the noodles only these this is actually a biscuit and it says to make them about one inch and three to four inches long that's kind of like a noodle i i usually try to make mine more square um, that's about a quarter of an inch there we need to go about half that I should be using my my roller things what I should be using okay make sure it doesn't stick that's what I keep doing I'm making sure it's not sticking that's getting pretty close I can't wait for the new kitchen not long now okay so there's these now I'm going to use this here you can use a knife or whatever I'm just gonna that's a little bit more than an inch that's probably an inch and a quarter don't have to be perfect guys I may add some more I don't know um, it says to make them about three to four inches long I'm not going to make them that long now, these will puff up and I'm just going to do that's that now just cover these with a damp cloth until we're ready to put in our to put it into our stuff so let me get a damp cloth and get this covered up and I'll be right back with you okay now what we're gonna do 
I've got that covered up with a damp cloth. All I did was wet a cloth and um, and just I wrung it out really, really good. So we're gonna put our vegetables in here. Now it does call for garlic salt or garlic powder. I, I don't have any of that. So I'm just gonna put a couple, I'm just gonna put a couple cloves in there. Now we're gonna let this cook for 10 minutes. So kitchen timer. 10 minutes and start okay and I'll be back with you once these get cooked okay now we're gonna make a roux okay kangaroo this is um two-thirds cup of flour this is a whole stick of butter and we're just gonna whisk this in here okay and we're gonna stir this We're going to cook it for 30 seconds, okay? So let me set a timer here. When did that start? Okay, and, and you got to stir it constantly because it will get thick. Is it cooking there? Okay, that's been about 30 seconds. Okay, well my timer's not shutting off. It's not thickening up. Let me add a little bit more flour. There we go. might not have had the right amount of flour there it's starting to thicken up now I better get it just a little bit more my dad maybe I put too much butter in but it's okay there we go that's what we're looking for looking for this this is over medium heat also guys by the way our vegetables, I forgot to tell you, an onion, a medium-sized onion, again, more or less. Uh, white onion, I think is what it calls for. But what I did was um, I used half a very large onion. It was a white onion. You can use yellow onion, you know, whatever you prefer, purple onion. I have made it with purple onion, and it's it turns out just fine. So I forgot to tell you about, go ahead and put that in. Now... As soon as this thickens up a little bit more, let me get this thick. We're going to add some some of our stock over there to thin this out. So I'll be right back with you once this gets thick. Okay, it got thick. Now we're just going to add some stock in here, thin it out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and shut this burner off. Uh, if you get a little bit of onion in there, it doesn't matter because it's all going back in the pan here in just a second. There we go. It's starting to thin out a little bit more. It's just going to be like a roux, just like a paste. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right, now let me get you moved over here. And we'll put this into our uh, stock over there. Now we're gonna add a roux in here. Might be just a little bit thicker than what it should be, but that's okay. Nothing has to be perfect. You know, after you make something a couple times, you don't even measure anymore. You just know that's about right and you do it to taste. Now what we're gonna do, this is where we add our cream. It's a quarter cup of cream. We're going to add in there and we're going to whisk this until until there's no more lumps until it's nice and smooth and well creamy so I'm going to just keep cooking this and whisking this and I'll be back with you also if you're if you're using peas now is when you put the peas in 
okay you'll put the peas in when you do this step so let me go ahead and get this stirred up and just cook it and keep going until you have no more lumps in it so let me get going with this okay now what I had to do was I had I had to add um, two cups to of chicken broth to this because it was too thick I think I just uh, boiled the chicken too high and it boiled out most of my uh, or some of my water so I want you to bring this up to a light boil and then we're going to add our dumplings in one at a time so they don't stick together and what we're going to do once I get all these in here we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes then we're going to take it off the heat and we're going to stir our chicken in so let me get these in here and <clears throat> I'll be back with you guys in 10 minutes, but for you, it'll be just a second, so hang tight. Okay, guys, I let mine cook for about 12 minutes. Okay, it was just, I just kind of like simmered it. Now we're going to add our chicken. Of course, our chicken's cold, but once you get it in here and stir it up, it will heat up. We're going to stir this up, and it's pretty much done. So let me get this stirred up. I'll get a bowl dipped out here for Monkey and let it cool down. And we'll see what she thinks of it. Um, <coughs> also, these dumplings, which is actually just kind of homemade biscuits, is uh, what I see my grandma do. She wouldn't roll it out or nothing. She would just knead it together and let it rest. And then when she got ready for it, she would just peel off pieces and throw in there. Now, what I done one time, I used the grand, the big biscuits. The ones you open up and they pop I use those and I cut them in half you can use those for a quick way um, that you know if you if you if you don't feel comfortable or you're not that good at mixing flour and stuff you can do it that way there's no shame in that it's still good but yeah like I said my grandma I just remember her just peeling it off and throwing them in there and uh, like I said I have used grand biscuits the big ones and just cut them in half throw them in okay let me keep let me stir this for a minute I'm gonna get monkey out a bowl and we'll see what she thinks of it okay we have our taste tester here hello see she's gonna give that a try and see if it's any good or not it's hot that looks good Ooh, nice babe Mm -mm. Hot. <laughs> but while she's <laughs> thank you. While she's doing that, this is what I do with my skins. I fry them up. Because some people like skins, some people don't. Sure. Argumentatively, I think they're the best part of the chicken, but you know. Um Oh my god. I've seen guys leave it on before. I've ate it with where they've left the, the skins on, and it was fine with me, but I've never done it just for the reason that some people don't like the skins. Albeit, not very healthy for you, but hey, I love them. So what do you think, Monk? Is it okay? It's very good. Very, very good. Nice. It's real easy to make, guys. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, you saw all the ingredients, and I'll put in the description box, I'll put the exact... Uh, the exact recipe, it's an Emerald Lagasse recipe. Bam! That guy's awesome. That's very good. But, so it's his recipe. Like I said, I didn't get to put the bay leaves in. Um, mm. You know, you can substitute other things too. You know, like I didn't get to put the peas in, but that's okay. I mean, whatever. You know, you don't have to put carrots in. You don't have to put onions in. You put you in know? what you like. That's what so, you yeah. So, there you guys go. So, hopefully... You guys will try this. If you do, let me know in the comment section below and uh, how it turned out for you guys. And um, just remember, it's your dish. Just create it how you want it and make it how you like it. Yep. Yep. That's very good. I'm All ready right. for dinner now. Okay, we're going to eat. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Like I said, she's out for now, y'all. <laughs> bye bye, guys. It's 78 today, so.
Mm, it's so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, guys. Appreciate Shea Bear's Mr. Man Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye, y'all.